Mary Pat Kurtz put together one of the most impressive athletic careers in tribe sports history as she was named three-time All-American for the William & Mary lacrosse team, including first team honors in 85 and 86. Beyond the All-American honors, Kurtz's skills were further recognized as she was named to the U.S. Reserve National Team in 1984 before being named to the U.S. National Team each of the next three years and cementing her status as one of the country's premier players. Selected as the William Mary Senior Female Athlete of the Year in 1986, Kurtz collected 229 ground balls over her four-year career, which is still a school record. Kurtz was a key contributor in helping the tribe win back-to-back -back state titles in 83 and 84 and make the NCAA championships field in 1983. Also a standout on the hockey field, Kurtz earned all South Region and South Atlantic honors in 1984 and 1985. She was named to the SAC All-Tournament Team after both the 1984 and 85 postseasons. Feffy Barnhill, former director of lacrosse and field hockey and member of the William Mary Athletics Hall of Fame, had this to say. Mary Pat Kurtz came to William & Mary from a nationally known powerhouse program, Greenwich Academy. Her skills were far and above those of a typical freshman, as she had the unique ability to read the field and distribute the ball. MP was like the quarterback of our team. She had the natural ability to run forever and never be tired. She paired her game savvy with her quickness to create turnovers at an elite level. MP was fortunate to play alongside a skilled group of upperclassmen early in her career. Three teammates, Lisa Miller, Julie Dove, Chris Paradis, were already involved in the U.S. women's national team activities, and MP continued the tribe's presence at the sport's highest level. Mary Pat Kurtz was a real treasure to coach and a total team player, certainly deserving of this great honor. Unfortunately, Mary Pat is no longer with us, as she was taken away too soon after a long battle with multiple sclerosis. Coming up to receive her plaque is her son, Paul Asella. I also got my stuff prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, inductees, friends, and family here and away. My name is Paul Frederick Cassello, the only one lucky enough to be able to call Mary Pat Kurtz mom, and I'm honored to be here to accept her induction into the William & Mary Hall of Fame. Before I get started, I'd like to express my gratitude to a few individuals for this incredible opportunity. My uncle David, who gave up his chance to speak here so I could, my father, who's dedicated his life to both myself and my mother for as long as I can remember. Our greater Kurtz family who are here to support us tonight. And a special thank you to Peel Hawthorne and Feffy Barnhill, who gave me a chance to learn about who my mother was on the field last year during my first ever visit to William Mary's campus. I, and finally, whatever, whatever caused the delay to now, so I can actually truly appreciate tonight's significance and importance to both me and my family. It's difficult to properly describe the emotions that I feel standing here tonight. My personal memories of my mother are unfortunately few, being only five years old when she passed away in 2004. However, despite my limited time with her, I felt her influence constantly over these last 20 years. Through both tales from her childhood, like gathering all the siblings to read Twas the Night Before Christmas every single year, or when meeting people who saw her and knew her as an educator, a coach, or just a teammate, all of whom would speak to her exceptional character and passion within any environment they knew her from. Amongst all of these tales of praise and gratitude, though, there is one quote from her that I've held close ever since I heard it many, many years ago. Allegedly, when asked about her height, she would reply with the phrase, my feet reach the ground. And while I am somewhat more vertically inclined than she was, being only about five foot one, it's something I find myself repeating almost constantly. No matter the situation, despite all I may be facing, I know I will be just fine because my feet reach the ground. While my thoughts behind the phrase may differ from my mother's, 
It is a reminder of her that helps me carry on in life, no matter the difficulty. But I think that's enough about that. I'm sure I could speak for hours about how she's had an effect on me growing up. So let's briefly get into the sports side of this. All of the inductees being honored here tonight are here because they proved themselves to be exceptional athletes. And of course, my mother is no different. The talent required to reach this level of play is immense, but that raw talent is dwarfed by the hard work and determination needed to achieve this level of play. Over the years, and especially when researching for this speech, I learned a lot about who she was as an athlete. I would consistently hear a few things about her from those I spoke to. They'd speak of her unyielding drive to improve both herself and her teammates. That she was the kind of player who was a leader on the field and never let herself take things easy and actively sought out advice from both coaches and peers. My grandfather often mentions her unparalleled field awareness, often calling her a coach on the field. She was a driving force for her team whenever her feet touched the grass and was the kind of player who earned the respect of both coaches and teammates. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure there are individuals here tonight who have their own stories and experiences with her. And if I can make a slightly selfish request, I ask that you please tell me who she was to you. To wrap things up fairly quickly, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for this opportunity and privilege. Because when and where else can I get to spend a few minutes bragging about my mom in front of a captive audience? <laughs> Thank you for honoring my mother. It is an unparalleled gift to both me and my family. To see my mother's name listed amongst the best of the best tonight is something I will remember for the rest of my life. Thank you all. <laughs>